I definitely feel for those of you who have recently moved into your own home because in the past the four of wands can also indicate a situation where you are leaving one physical dwelling for another in terms of what's coming in for you we have the Empress and the Empress card um, the Empress does indicate a uh, feminine energy that is very uh, focused on fertility childbirth birthing new ideas new projects new people as well you know it is a card of fertility um, I'm also sensing in this situation there is some type of um, an energy where you are going off on your own and you're trying to establish your own either your own um, your own domain, your own ground, or even, you know, you're expanding your own empire. And ex in the process of expanding your empire, you are going to have to step out of the comfort zone to e establish your own foundation, all right? So what that means is just, once again, the same message. Moving from possibly a parent's home and trying to move out and live on your own. In terms of what's crowning you here is we have the Three of Cups, once again, is indicative of a celebratory energy. It's corroborating the Four of Wands in that they both echo the same theme, which signifies celebration, a major milestone in your own life or in a significant other in a friend's life that it requires a celebration. So this, a lot of this has to do with the union, like two people joining together. And um, or even like, you know, the birth of a child, for example, or finding out good news about a union, finding out news that your best friend is getting married, engaged and things like that. OK, I'm going to pull out now the rest of the cards and then see which direction this reading is going to go before I proceed. So the foundation of this reading here is the world and the world does indicate expansion. It indi indicates things coming to a full circle completion. So it's looking positive. Now, I'm going to warn you ahead of time. The outcome itself is not looking too great. But I do feel that in this situation, the Ten of Cups indicates to me truths and information coming through. So what I'm going to get here is that um, the foundation is the world. And the world, once again, indicates opportunities. Your world is expanding, okay? Whatever you've been, whatever situation you've been in, I do feel that you're leaving one location for the next. As a result of it, your world is expanding naturally, but I definitely feel some sense of hesitation on your end with the Empress in the reverse position where you are lacking the self-confidence in order to advance full steam ahead with your new newfound sense of freedom. So freedom, it's sort of like in the past, you were living in a structure and the structure itself was very, very stable. And it could be like a family environment where, you know, despite the, the, the disagreements, the home itself was very structured. And now that you're out on your own, you're feeling like I don't, you're, you're doubting whether or not you're able to maintain the own, your own structure and whether or not you're able to sustain yourself. So I definitely feel self-doubt coming through. For those of you who have recently left the nest and are now living on your own as like, you know, college student, graduate students, what have you, if you've recently left a home environment and you're kind of looking around, shopping around for a new place to live, I do feel that don't be afraid of this. I know it is, it is a scary process, but I do sense that you're going to be quite happy because we have a lot of new energies coming through, okay? But um, it could also be a situation where, so I'm getting conflicting messages because at the heart of this reading is the Ten of Cups, but then we end up here with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So I'm feeling as if for a lot of you, for a lot of you, um, for some reason, for this reading and also for the Taurus reading, I feel as if I'm speaking to a younger crowd in which you might have uh, recently left behind like a childhood sweetheart in order to pursue graduate, um, you know, college in another town. You might have uh, recently left one relationships to move far away. I, although I don't see, I see opportunities for movement and advancement. And it's a difficult decision that you're coming across right now. So I do feel that, you know, it, it's sort of like that, that sense of losing your innocence because the next phase of your life is more about adult responsibilities, being on your own, taking care of yourself, working the nine to five and, um, you know, doing those things that, 
that you have to do on your own in order to sustain your own life, okay? So you're looking at this as if, oh no, it's the end of, you know, childhood. It's the end of innocence. It's the end of the carefree time period in your life where you don't have to, uh, where you don't have to think about, you know, what do I need to do next? So it, it was just, you know, it's a little bit scary, but I do feel that that's the energy I'm sensing for this, um, the rest of this month. And um, it's interesting because um, here in the States too, we usually end school around June. So uh, it's November and I, I don't, I don't understand why this is happening, but a lot of you could be going home temporarily for vacation and you might be dreading, dreading it, or you might have some, um, hesitations about leaving or you might you know be moving from one place to the next because a lease is ending and as a result of it you, there's some trepidation about taking this next plunge okay in terms of your crowning energy I do feel a lot of celebration a lot of celebratory energies circulating around you but you're um, you're feeling kind of um, you're, you're feeling kind of destabilized with the Empress here so I, I, I'm sensing that you you might feel so for example if all of your friends are getting married and and you're you're thinking to yourself like oh no you know when am I going to get married and that can you know dampen our self-esteem just a little bit but I, I do feel that you know time will happen in in things will happen in its own time and you don't have to worry so much about this okay just go and celebrate the things with your friends and try to keep things into perspective like think about what is the purpose of this gathering and who am I really here for because that's going to be basically that, that's the right thing to focus on and that's the whole point of a celebratory union between two people anyways is to celebrate their love in a public environment with their friends and family so that's what you're there for okay so now for a lot of you for others of you who have you know where leaving a place was not by choice but rather there was some news coming through and you feel like you were pushed out of one environment you know like you were happy there you were content there and you would have stayed there but there was some news here with the ace of swords the ace of swords indicates truths being revealed it indicates new revelation it indicates information coming through that brought us some that is going to bring about irreversible change okay change in the way we think in the way we perceive the world around us so a lot of you there might have been news that pushed you out of your current home environment and right now you're feeling a little bit destabilized i just want you to know that your friends people who love you are still going to be there as you know the the light in the darkness you know as you're progressing through this just know that you can turn to your friends and loved ones for support additionally at the foundation here we have the world which indicates to me that maybe this is happening so that you can so that there can be new opportunities to come through for you and the advice here is you know don't try to fight it don't don't try it. don't fight this process don't um don't take it I guess lying down well no that's not the right expression I, I guess my point is you're feeling a little bit destabilized okay and I am sensing that whatever news that was that pushed you out of your home environment the advice here is that you you have to basically you still have to stand up for yourself you have to find out the cause of this but I do feel the news that was coming through is truthful and as a result of it you're feeling a little bit dejected and you might not, you know, know how to help yourself in this situation. You feel as if you're facing a lot of opposition. And you feel as if you feel as if you can't really turn to anybody for support. What's external to you is um, it's an, a water sign. We have here the Page of Cups, which indicates to, to me, for those of you, so for those of you who have been dealing with an, a water sign, okay, and it's interesting because for the past few months, a lot of you have been dealing with um, air signs. And now there is external to you a water sign. A water sign, this is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this can also be, you know, an, an offer of love, a gesture of love. And usually I see pages as people who deliver messages. And with a cup, with a page of cups, it's somebody who brings in an offer of love but I do feel that this offer is a little bit premature 
And it can be rescinded as soon as it is offered or you're sensing that there might be some type of insincerity or strings attached with this offer. So just be a little bit careful about that. In terms of your hopes and fears, we do have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, it's in the reverse position and you're thinking to yourself that, you know, pretty much the worst of it is over. And... Um, Oh, I'm sorry, it's in the upright position. So the Nine of Swords in the upright position as your fear is that you are feeling as if, you know, it's being plagued by anxiety and fears, okay? So I'm sensing this message. For example, a lot of you might have your own place. And um, there might have been like a major, major party get together. And the house situation, there might have been some issues with the landlord. And there might have been, you know, an incident where possibly a police report was filed is what I'm sensing. And as a result of it, you're kind, you have to find a new place, okay? And you're feeling really dejected at this moment. So that's a, a scenario that I'm sensing right now. And you're making that promise that, you know, oh, I'll, I'll never do that again. I'll never throw one of those um, parties and then let it get out of hand is what I'm sensing. Um, for a lot of you, it might have happened in October. And now you're dealing with the aftermath of it, which is unfortunate. But I do feel that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I don't feel any legal actions associated with this. I don't sense any legal actions associated with this, so I feel that you will be fine. This is just, you know, one of those things we have to learn, so we have to go through so that we know how to, what to avoid in the future is, uh, is what I'm, I'm sensing here. And um, I do feel as well, in terms of the outcome position, we have the Six of Cups reverse. And the Six of Cups reverse indicates to me, basically, this is, you know, the... It's a card that signifies, um, in the traditional sense, in the Rider Waite deck, it is definitely a card about childhood uh, memories, fond memories. In the reverse position, it does indicate to me, I, I don't feel there is a, a person involved in this area. So I feel that it's not a person per se, or if you're dealing with a water sign, it could be a person making a proposal. But you're thinking to yourself that, oh, no, the, I know that the proposal is not, um, is not solid, okay? You, you're feeling to yourself the proposal is going to be rescinded as soon as I take up on this offer. So you're not going to go ahead with it. You're not going to go ahead with it. But what I'm getting from this spread is that for a lot of you, this is kind of like a situation where um, we make mistakes and moving forward, we kind of learn from our mistakes. And as a result of it, there is almost that sense of like um, feeling like you're stepping from the childhood world into ad an adult world where in the adult world, there is uh, real ramifications for our actions. We are held accountable for all the things that we do. And this can go both ways. It can go with um, in your in your case, for example. If you've had that house party and you're dealing with the aftermath and it's not fun, so you're starting to realize, okay, I have to make better decisions. You know, that that's just the, the easy part. Um, the other thing is that if you're, you've dealt with somebody who made you very, very happy, but you know that they're not faithful, for example, they're starting to see the ramifications of their actions because I feel like you're very hurt. You're very, very hurt. Okay. And we have the three of swords here. Unfortunately, I don't want, like to see this card. I'm very sorry, Aries, but I do feel that you are very hurt as a result of this. And no matter how much you care about this person, you're starting to realize that, you know, they're not a good relationship partner. They're not a sincere person. And it's kind of like that loss of innocence where, you know, all are the person we idealize has fallen from their pedestal and you you can't recover from that because you can't help but look at them in a different light so the six of cups that's what it means to me in the reverse position it's sort of like those rose-colored glasses are, are coming off you're no longer looking at a person through childhood eyes you're looking at them in the context of the real world and you're looking at this as if you know, this is the end of a childhood era in which we can be carefree, in which we can do things without worries about ramifications. We can't do that anymore, okay? 
So honestly, I do sense that for a lot of you, this could even, you know, deal with um, pregnancies. For example, if you're thinking about getting pregnant and um, this is a situation that is potentially contentious and it's not going to apply to all, but if there has been problems with pregnancies that is causing strife for some reason, if there has been problems with pregnancy, fertility that is causing strife within a relationship, I do feel for this, um, the next two weeks, just be very, very careful with the partnership and, you know, be very careful about um, communicating with one another effectively, okay? Um, also, for those of you who might have been pregnant and, you know, are going through that period of, like, um, mood fluctuation where you're not getting enough sleep, where you're, you're like staying up at night because the baby is kicking, or if you have just given birth, you're kind of stressed out, I feel. So, you know, just take that in strides and do some type of meditation. I don't know what is recommended for people who have just given birth, but I do feel that if there is any type of postpartum depression or anything like that, you know, refer to a mental health specialist, okay? Because it is a real issue and you want to take that, get that taken care of because uh, the child's in the picture apparently. So you, you it, it is a, a very, very serious problem. So get some help in this situation, okay? Because with the Empress and the Nine of Swords, the Empress is definitely a motherhood type of issue, fertility it's related to birth, given birth. It's related to, you know, our new bundle of joy here with the Ace of Cups. And all of it is pointing to me possibly some issues regarding pregnancy, regarding childbirth, but also a lot of worries and, and anxiety associated with this. So I just have to jump here and just say, you know, postpartum depression is one of the, the things that I'm sensing. So just be very careful about that and seek, you know, the um, advice of a mental health specialist for to deal with this issue to deal and cope with this issue. Um, if for some reason, if you're in a relationship and none of the pregnancy fertility stuff is, is applicable to you, I definitely don't feel things that would indicate cheating, infidelity, or anything like that, okay? I, I don't sense that. So if you are kind of like, um, if you are suspicious, I do feel it is important, once again, to have that open channel of communication coming through between you and another person who you're in a relationship with and try to flush out why there are suspicions, okay? Is it because they're talking to somebody else? Is it simply that or is it other reasons that is affecting this situation? Because I do sense that um, in terms of um, in terms of intentions, I don't feel the other person is aware. So if there is some type of jealousy, some type of separation, for example, um, one person can be going off to do their service, to fulfill some type of military service, and there is a separation and you're feeling very, very saddened by this. You know, just know that we do have advanced breakthrough in communication nowadays, and which would help facilitate the process. So, you know, we do have Skype, we do have, you know, voice chat and things like that. So it's not, a, it's not that bad, okay? Like a, a few decades ago, we didn't have those luxuries. So just think of this as, you know, being supportive. And I know that it's hard because um, separations are never, ever easy when it concerns our loved ones. But um, just try to keep things in perspective, okay? I feel like for a lot of you, it might be you that is going off and not the other person. But either way, it is equally hard because separations during, during like the honeymoon stages of a relationship is rarely easy. But I definitely feel some type of news coming through for you for the next two weeks that will allow you new insights into somebody's character, somebody's um, intentions for you. I do feel, you know, some type of news, um, some type of information coming through. It could even be unintentional, unintended. And um, it's not great news, but I do feel truths need to be revealed, okay? I'm going to pull out another card here because you're getting three outcome cards in the reverse position. So I'm going to see what it pertains to and if how things are going to pan out in the future for you, if things are going to be okay. Okay, so I have the king of coins here. So um, for a lot of you... So whenever this card comes out, this is um this is the Casanova of the deck. This is a a ladies man, okay? 
if you are dealing with someone who has the characteristics of this king of pentacles this can be a, an earth sign and it doesn't have to be just a male it can be a female too um virgo taurus capricorn okay usually sun sign um sun moon rising what i'm sensing is you are dealing with somebody who is a ladies man and i do feel that because of it his or her offer was not always sincere i do feel they are you know a little bit of a heartbreaker and unfortunately i'm very sorry to say but this is not this isn't it's not they're not a bad person but i do feel that they will say all the right things just to get you to you know just just to date you just to go out with you but in terms of the ability to follow through this is um it's shown up in the upright position so i do feel like what you see is pretty much what you're going to get if he's dripping with honey and you know saying all the right things i do feel that like I said, he's not a bad person, and this can, you know, play out in multiple ways. But I do sense as well that um, no matter what happens, we do have this card to clarify the situation. So it indicates to me that if you're not dating at all, if this is not a dating situation, but m rather more of like, you know, you're you've met someone that you really like, and you find out that they're f uh, flirting with all of these people. I'm going to say that he or she is pretty much single and they are interested in a relationship. So the flirtation might just be flirtation because they're interested in a relationship. Okay, so make yourself available. Um, if you have been dating somebody like this, you know, possibly an earth sign, he or she is in the upright position, which indicates to me that, you know, I feel like I feel as if it might just be flirtation or you might be getting rumors of flirtations that are not founded, grounded on reality. So communication is going to be very, very important for the next two weeks, okay? Try to flush out some of these problems that you have in the relationship and figure out where the doubts, the anxieties, the frustrations are coming from and whether or not they are representative of your partner's true characters, true intentions, okay? Um, if you have recently, recently broken up with somebody who is an earth sign, I do feel that... Um, if you have recently broken up, then I do sense that there is a potential for it to turn back around. But you have to think about why things broken, you know, things fell apart in the first place, okay? And I don't feel it's completely stable. So you want to keep that in mind. I don't sense that it is completely stable. But I do feel the, the earth sign potentially coming back around. But once again, the offer itself is very short-lived. It's very, very short-lived. So decide what you want to do. Um, finances are, are I, I'm not getting a single pentacles card so I do feel you know no news is good news but I do sense for those of you who have recently started a new job situation you're in an environment where you're kind of expected to perform kind of like hit the ground running and you're feeling a little bit destabilized and you feel like you might not have all the expertise that you need and you're staying up late at night trying to learn the ropes trying to you know thumb through or you know get through the training manuals for example and you're going to do just fine so don't let that self-doubt creep in and i do feel that you know you're very good at improvising so just think on the spot and you're going to be able to uh, perform in a very very productive in a very satisfying satisfactory manner so don't worry about this okay aries